What's up guys, hope you are doing well there and stay safe during this corona pandemic period. Today I have come up with another tutorial for you. But this is not about ArcGIS. This will be about QGIS. I have created so many tutorials on ArcGIS software. You can check my playlist uh, called Let's Learn ArcGIS. If you haven't checked the playlist in my channel, go and check the playlist section in my channel. You can learn many things from this tutorial. So uh, today I am going to start uh, another new genuine playlist for QGIS users. So in this video, I will briefly explain what are the uh, software versions, what are the platforms that you can use this QGIS software. and I will help you to decide what QGIS version or the software will best match for you. So let's get started but before that please hit the red subscribe button down there and click the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Okay, let's start with a browser. I'm going to type QGIS, just QGIS. Welcome to the QGIS project. Uh, the QGIS project, there are different links. So I will go to QGIS.org. QGIS is a free and open source cross platform desktop geographic information system that supports weaving, editing, and analysis of geospatial data. So same as QGIS, but there are uh, some differences between the ArcGIS software and QGIS. I will go to uh, download QGIS, a free and open source geographic information system. Right, I will explain. Uh, since there are many platforms to install QGIS software, uh, it is important to know that what is the best matching software version for you or the software platform for you right let's go to the download page you can see uh, download for windows uh, standalone installer uh, network installer 64 bit and 32 bit and download for mac os linux bsd apps for mobile and tablet right there are many options so what are you are going to install from for this tutorial what i have installed in my laptop right download for windows you can see the difference between these two is uh, standalone version installed qgis software by itself right but network installer gives an option for all sorts of open software uh, to install uh, such as uh, saga grass as well as other ogr tools that are uh, for a translation of files and so on but for the coming tutorials i have installed standalone version right also we have some stable versions you can see uh, qgi standalone installer version 3.14 this is more stable 3.1 i have installed 3.2 so you can see download for mac os linux bsd and apps for mobile especially uh, arcgis don't have an android version so this qgis has even android you can open your qgis projects from your android phone unfortunately there is there is no app for iphones uh, if you download any of the uh, versions you can always come back and reinstall it doesn't matter also standalone version is the easiest way to install you can use this version and more stable version but you will be missing out of lot of uh, really tools great tools that are uh, come with the network installer just remember that you will definitely miss some useful tools but almost everything can be done using these standalone versions right this is a really good product to be installing so it's amazing that you have uh, all these difficult uh, different different ways and uh, you can run qgis on them 
so i mean uh, many platforms are supported with qgis even android you will uh, uh, no, you will have to uh, choose what is best match for you. If you have a Mac, uh, laptop with Mac OS, you will have to download this one. Right. If you want to download, just click uh, this one and it will install. It will be an easier process. Right. Just download the QGIS, uh, the software this one and install it doesn't matter right okay that's what i want to discuss with you today i will start the basic tutorial uh, in the next week so it's better to keep uh, subscribe for me and click the bell icon to get the uh, coming notification so if you are interested in this qgis uh, series in on my channel please uh, comment your thoughts what are the things that i should include into this qgis software uh, what are what kind of tutorials basics or some advanced things please comment and uh, also i want to note that the general uh, quality of these tutorials right if you need uh, exercise files that i use in my uh, tutorials uh, may, please mention that if you want tutorial files please mention please comment right okay that's all for today i will be back with another video for you soon till then take care and goodbye